Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about roots and router module in Angular 2. Here is the quick demo which we are going to develop. Here add new and show list navigation is happening by using router module. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on repositories. Let's clone book rest API Angular 2 project. Clone to successfully. Let's import this project to the spring source. Project imported successfully. Let's first run Angular 2 using ng serve. So no need to go anywhere in Eclipse itself you can open the folder in the terminal. Let's open this folder Angular 2 in terminal. Now let's execute the Angular command called ng-serve. Oops it's giving an error like cannot find module. If you observe there is no node modules folder is available inside the Angular 2 folder. To run this application we need the node modules folder same as like Maven project. First it downloads all the dependencies then only we can run the project. In case of Angular 2, we need those node modules. So let's execute a node command called npm install. See installed successfully. See node modules folder is there. Let's execute again ng serve command. See project compiled successfully. Now let's open this in browser. See it's working. Let's first add some UI related changes. Let's modify app component HTML first. Just watch, changes are very simple wherever is required I will explain. Here this nav is for navigation. This button we are using for mobile purpose means if we want to open the menu in mobile this button will help, later I will show you how. Here is the menu list, now I am adding only one for add later we will add for the list as well. Let's refresh. It's looking nice. Wait and watch we are going to add a lot many changes. Let's first transform this title in capitalize format. So in Angular 2 it is very easy to achieve. Add pipe symbol and use directive called title case. See it's coming properly. Now let's add click logic for toggle button here I am just adding the code but it will not work because we have not added bootstrap minjs dependency. We will add it later. Now let's put app book inside div. For this div add bootstrap class called container. See it's showing properly. Let's create book form so add changes in book component html page. Before going further let's check form is looking good or not. See all 6 fields are showing properly. Now let's add remaining changes.
See now all titles and placeholder are coming properly. Let's add some margin at container. Now it's perfect. Let's open Developer 2 using F12. See it's showing properly when UI is responsive. Instead of responsive, let's change it to some mobile like a Galaxy. See it's showing properly. Top right you can see one collapse icon it's not working because bootstrap JS file reference not yet added. Now let's see what are the things required to implement app routing related changes. Let's stop the server first. Now let's execute the command to create a new module for app routing. The command is like ng generate module app routing m app module flat true. So when flat true, create the new files at the top level of the current project. See module created successfully and updated in the app module class also. So this is the benefits of CLI no need to update in the related file it happened automatically. See here is the file, but before that let's see what is router module in Angular 2. Here is the description about router module. Managing state transitions is one of the hardest parts of building applications. This is especially true on the web, where you also need to ensure that the state is reflected in the URL. Besides, we often want to split applications into multiple bundles and load them on demand. Doing this transparently is not trivial. The Angular router solves these problems. Using the router, you can declaratively specify application state, manage state transitions while taking care of the URL and load bundles on demand. c 4 root is a static method of router module. For root creates a module that contains all the directives, the given roots, and the router service itself. There is one more for child. For child creates a module that contains all the directives and the given roots but does not include the router service. For more information, you can refer this link. Now let's add required changes. Instead of common module change, it should be router module. Add roots also. Add the change in imports array also. Add router module in the exports also. Now let's create a constant array for all the roots. I am using only add for this time later we will add list also. When URL path contains add it should call book component. Add an import for book component. Now add this roots constant in router module for root method. That's it for this class. Now no need of this app book selector so instead of this we will use router outlet so router outlet acts as a placeholder that Angular dynamically fills based on the current router state and add router link for add new. Now start the server using ng-serve. Oops failed to compile, because one mistake I did in app routing module class forgot to change common class to the router. See it compiled successfully, now let's refresh the page. See automatically add, add a new URL, I hope you got the idea behind this app routing module. Now let's add one more component for the book list. Stop the server first. Let's execute CLI command to generate component. See book list component generated successfully and automatically updated in app module. Now let's add one more path for a list.
see it's very simple. So like that, you can add as many as. Now add one more router link for a list. That's it. Let's start the server using ng-serve. Compiled successfully. See automatically refreshed. See show list also coming. Let's click on the show list. See it's showing default generated text. Now let's change this text to proper table. But before that let's add a title from a TypeScript file. See book list is showing. Now let's replace with the proper table. No data, so add just a default message, and incoming video we will add complete functionality. See the table is showing. See navigation is happening properly between add and list page and URL also changing accordingly. Now let's add some simple changes in the index.html file. Let's change the title to the bookshop. Here base URL is slash so instead of that let's say the book. See book also appended a new URL. Now let's replace angular icon to some book icon. Add the same icon in navigation also. See it's looking perfect? I hope you got some idea about app routing module. Let's review whatever changes we added. Don't worry incoming we are going to do many things in Angular too. I checked in my changes, I will show from where you can find these. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.